nullifies the ability to send submittals for approval and request submittals from other parties associated with jobs. First, you'll want to make sure that both versions of submittals are enabled inside your admin section. Then, when you open up a job, there will be a Submittals tab at the top of the screen. First, we'll send a submittal for approval from a client or another party associated with this project. When we click this, we can type in a name or description of the submittal. Then you'll have the ability to select who you're sending this submittal to for approval, and you'll automatically load client email information. And you can select when the deadline for a response is, and then include additional information that goes beyond the submittal title. You also have the ability to upload documents from your computer or directly from the project's documents file as necessary. When you send this for approval, it will store in your account as awaiting approval in the Submittals tab. And the approver will receive a link to a portal where they can see the question, uploaded documents, and then send either an approval or a request for revision with any changes necessary. The revision request can include text about the revision needed, as well as any additional documents needed to support what they need to communicate back to you for another response. When this is submitted, you will receive an email letting you know that they requested a revision, and it will update the submittal status inside the Notify job. Then, you will be able to select the submittal, see the comments that have been submitted by the approver, and update any additional information for them to review in this next iteration of the submittal that you'd like to send across. You can upload more documents, change the text, and then they'll send a similar email so they can view in the portal and either approve or request another revision. When approving a submittal, they can click the Approve button in the top right corner and then enter any additional comments that need to accompany this submittal's approval. And once approved, the status will automatically be updated in Noify, and you can click the submittal to review the log of everything that happened and distribute this submittal to anyone that needs a copy of all of this information. Aside from sending out submittals for other parties to review, you can also select Request Submittal from Sub and request that someone else sends you a submittal for your approval. It will similarly require a description and information about the submittal number, but instead of selecting who we're submitting this to from our list of clients, we'll be able to select from our list of vendors instead and automatically pull their email addresses. It will automatically pull in email addresses stored on file with the vendor that we selected, or we can override it and enter in any other email address that we need to send this submittal request to. When this is sent, we'll see that the status has updated to awaiting submission, and then the vendor or other party will receive the link to a portal where they'll have the ability to enter in comments and upload images so that they can send a submittal for your approval. In this version of submittals, uploading a document with a response is a required field as opposed to something that's optional in the other cases. Then the submitter can send for approval, They'll send you an email letting you know that you've received the submittal from your other party. And in Notify, the submittal is set to ready for review, and you'll see what they submit along with any accompanying images. And you'll have the ability to request a revision as needed to keep the chain going. And again, all records of this back and forth will be stored inside the project in Notify. Or you have the ability, if necessary, to approve this submittal right through Notify as well. Click Approve. You can write in comments and upload a document as needed, and the approval will go back to the party that sent the submittal after your request. And again, you'll have the ability to distribute this to any additional parties or email addresses that need a copy of this information, and all of the correspondence and documents are stored in Notify alongside the project for review at any other date.